Hey folks, uh, this is a review for statistics on chapters 5 and 6. So it looks like you're having a test uh, and probably at the end of the semester here. So here we go. So uh, and this should get you ready. So uh, you choose an SRS of 10 uh, of the 90 retail outlets in Knight's Landing that sell your company's products. How would you label this population? Well, let's go ahead and answer that first. How would you label this population? Well, since you're going up to 90 and you're choosing 10 of them, I'm going to pick numbers... Um, uh, 1 to 90 on a, on a, uh, a, a random integer uh, generator or this table B that we're going to be using on the test in the back of the book right here. And I'm going to label the numbers as uh, two-digit numbers. So don't label it as 1. Label it as 0, 1, a two-digit number. 0, 2, 0, 3, all the way up to 90. That would be my two-digit number. And then so you'd pick a, a line. And so let's just say we start at line 115. Here's line 115 in the, in the back of the book. All right. And I want you to do this, you guys. I want you to pick uh, the first two numbers, then the second two numbers, then the next two numbers, then the next two numbers. So look at the numbers uh, 61, 04, and then 17, and then 76, 84, 94, 32. Okay, so I'm picking the ones that I see that come, uh, that land in these numbers 0 through 90. Okay, that would be my 90. It represents my 90 companies okay so uh, 61 would be my first company 04 would be my second company 17 then 76 then 84 okay then 94 that's over 90 so I'm gonna skip that one then it would be 32 uh, 22 47 until you get your first 10 you guys now on your test you're going up to a three digit number you guys so um, uh, so I would be doing like 610 and then do the next three digit 417 and so if it goes up to like 300 you guys I would get numbers underneath um, uh, 300 okay and including 300 and if you ran out here on the line say I ended right there and I still had I didn't get my 10 companies then you you go ahead and use this digit and then the next two digits of the next line of 116 and that would be your next three digit number and you just keep going until you get your your 10 numbers that would fall into your category this one uh, the category went up to 90 but uh, on your test is probably going to be a three digit number all right all right, so suppose uh, the Daily Democrat asks a sample of 150 Woodlanders their opinion on the quality of life in Woodland. Is this a uh, study an experiment? Why or why not? Okay, it is not an experiment because there, no, um, there was no treatment that we imposed on them, you guys. So let's just say, you know, the treatment was... Uh, uh, you know that we put some extra ponds in the neighborhood and so now do I so uh, what's their opinion or the quality of life then after that well that would be a treatment and so that would be an experiment then but since there's no treatment on on this it is not an experiment identify the sample and the population the sample is this 150 woodlanders and the entire population is all of woodland okay all right so the next one here uh, it's believed that 75 percent of all apartment dwellers in a large city uh, deadbolt their doors in addition uh, to locking them as uh, as an added precaution against burglary. Describe in words and in detail how you would simulate an SRS of 20 apartment dwellers. Okay, since it's 75 percent, I'm going to choose the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 because if I use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, the numbers 1, 2, and 3 is 75 percent of the numbers of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 would be my 25th percent. So one would be um, uh, a dead bolter, two would be a dead bolter, three would be a dead bolter, and then if I got to four, that would be a, a non-dead bolter. Okay, and all the other numbers I'm going to disregard. Okay, and I'm going to until I get the the first 20 digits in the range of one to four. Okay, and that would be um, uh, the first 20 apartment uh, uh, dwellers. So so for example, okay, so anything that's over four or zero, I disregard. Okay, so it's the first 20 numbers from one to four I would pick. Okay, and then so the numbers one, two, and three would be dead bolters, and four would be a non-dead bolter. So for example, six I skip because it's over that. This is a dead bolter, skip, with me? Four is a non-dead bolter. One is a uh, dead bolter. Seven skip, eight skip. So I don't count those as my groups of 20. Six skip, eight skip. Four is non-dead bolter. Nine is, uh, uh, nine would be a, a, a skipper. Okay, non-dead bolter, dead bolt, dead bolt, dead bolt, dead bolt, non-dead bolt, until I got my 20 of my numbers, one, two, three, or four. You with me? Good. 
All right, uh, what else do I have? So uh, you're participating in, the, in a design of a medical experiment to uh, investigate whether or not calcium supplements in the diet will reduce blood pressure on middle-aged men. All right, so uh, preliminarily, uh, sorry, pre uh, that word, uh, research suggests uh, that the supplement may have a greater effect on black men than white men. So what sort of experiment would you design to choose this? Well, since um, uh, we're doing uh, two different groups of men, white men and black men, I don't, I totally do a block experiment. Uh, an SRS, I, don't, I put SRS in there. I don't think an SRS would be very good. A block, uh, because uh, we're, 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 we're going to be separating them up between the white man and the black man with a supplement and a placebo. Okay, so assume, so assume the experiment, uh, experimental population consists of 600 white men and 500 black men outline in a diagram the design of this experiment. Be sure to indicate how many subjects are assigned. Okay, so here we go. I have it on the next page over here. So I'm going to separate them up into uh, group one is black man and group uh, two is the white guys. All right, and then um, since there were uh, 500 uh, black men, then I would cut them in, uh, cut them in half. I would divide them into two. Okay. So split them into halves right there. Same with the white guys. I'd split those guys into halves, but they were 600. Okay, so group uh, group one would be uh, a treatment with the supplement and a treatment with the placebo, and that half and half of them. And then half and half of the group two, uh, supplement and the placebo. And then we'd measure all the treatments of these. We'd measure their blood pressure. That's what this is. Okay, and compare and see if it had any effect. Okay. That's how you do that, okay? That block design. All right, so find the number of outcomes in each of the following. Okay, suppose a license tag has three digits and three letters. How many plates can it be made? Okay, so there's three digits I did in blue, and then three letters I did in red, okay? How many digits are there? There's ten digits, okay? Did not say anything about non-repeating, so it's going to be ten times ten times ten, and there's 26 letters, so 26, 26, 26. Multiply all those out, and you get 17,576,000. Okay, what if they weren't repeating? Whoops, I got the answer right there. Well, if they're not repeating, 10 inches for the first one, then you only have 9 for the second one, then 8 for the third one. And similarly, the letters, you got 26 letters, then 25, then 24, multiply that mess out, and you get 11,232,000. Okay, what if the first digit had to be, uh, could not be 0, and the first letter had to start with a Z? Okay, so the first digit couldn't be 0, which means I, and it says you can repeat, so I'm assuming you can repeat the, the digits and, um, and uh, the letters. Okay, so if I can't have 0 there, I still have 9 choices there, but I have 10 choices there, 10 choices there because of the digits. I have to choose one letter, the Z. So if it has to be one letter, then there's one choice there, and then 26 and 26. So 608,400. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so all human blood can be typed as, uh, uh, as one of the O, A, B, or A, B. Uh, but the distribution of the type varies a bit with the race. Here's the distribution of blood types of randomly chosen black men, black Americans. Uh, let's see. I pulled these right out of our, our textbook here. I think this is your homework, I think, you guys. So blood types, uh, so probability of blood type O is 49%. That's the most prominent one. A is 27%. B is uh, 20%. And then so what's the probability of A, B, and Y? Well, it's the rest of your 100%, you guys. They have to add up to 1. So add them up and find out what you're missing. You're missing 0.04. Okay, so Danny has type uh, B blood. He can safely receive blood transfusions from people with types O and type uh, O and B. So, what's the probability that the randomly chosen black person can hand donate to Danny? Okay, it's just going to be adding these probabilities together: 49% plus 20%, and you get uh, 69%. Okay, probability of type O or B as you add them. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. An uh, automobile manufacturer buys computer chips from suppliers. The supplier sends shipments containing 15% defective chips. Each chip uh, chosen from this shipment has the probability of uh, 15% or 0.15 being defective. And each automobile uses 10 chips uh, selected independently. What is the probability that all 10 chips in the car work properly? All right, well, if this is their defective rate, then 1 minus that would be their good rate. Okay, so properly would be 0.85, all right? So all 10 chips, you go 0.85 to the tenth, which is uh, uh, a little less than 20%, you guys, 0.197, okay? 
So that's not a very good chip uh, ratio. The cars would be breaking down left and right. I wouldn't want my car breaking down, you know. If it was only successful 20% of the time, that would suck, you guys. All right, so interpret the problems, okay? Uh, if four coins are tossed, find the probability of each event, okay? So you have uh, at least three heads and you have no tails. All right, I'm going to refer back to this figure in our book, and this is one of our lessons. I forgot where I picked this from. So um, this is one way to do it. Uh, list the ways you can get four tails, or, or I'm sorry, uh, zero heads. List all the ways you can get uh, one head, so a head on the first flip, and then tails on the second, third, and fourth. A tail on the first flip, and a head on the second flip. And so this is all the ways I can get a head on the first flip. Here's all the ways I can get two heads. Okay, not on the first flip, just a head on, on four flips, sorry. Here's all the ways I can get two heads on four, tail, on four flips. Here's all the ways I can get three heads on, on uh, uh, four flips. And then finally, four heads right there. So uh, the probability, there are 16 outcomes here. If you count them all up, there's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? 16 ways. How many ways can you get uh, at least three heads? These four plus this one, so it's going to be five. It's your favorable divided by total, five over 16, okay? No tails, okay? No tails means uh, all heads. This is the one that has no tails right there, so that one is 1 16th, okay? Favorable divided by total is probability. Piece of cake, huh? All right, let's try this one. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we had this uh, earlier. We did. Uh, this was a different way. I did a tree diagram on this one, you guys. In the first flip, you can get a heads, uh, a heads or a tails, and and then on the second flip, I can get a heads or a tails, or if I got a tails here, I can get a heads or a tails, and then if I did another third flip, I can get a heads or a tails, a heads or a tails. So this was the sample outcome with three flips, and what I did was, as you'll see on the next one, I just took this branch and I went off heads, tails. And then this one, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, and I listed the sample space. So you could also do it that way and then count up and answer the questions there. There's 16 of them. That's my bottom number. And then so at least uh, three heads. So the probability of at least three heads. Okay, so there's one that has four heads. There's three heads, three heads. So there's three of them right there. There's one, so four. Uh, and then there's the last one, 5, so 5 sixteenths, okay? No tails would be this one, 1 sixteenth, okay? Whichever way works for you, you guys. Okay, a bag contains two red, four yellow, and six blue marbles. Two marbles are drawn at random. Find the probability of each event, okay? Both are red, okay? Probability of a red, then a probability of a red, okay? Since you're drawing them both uh, at the same time, that is like, uh, it's the same as not uh, without replacement, you guys. Okay, so uh, there's two reds out of the first one, and there's 12 total marbles in there. And then, so there's one red one out of 11 marbles left. Okay, go ahead and reduce it. I like having fraction answers, you guys. Um, I don't think I put decimal answers. In fact, I know I didn't. So um, I don't care. I like fraction answers, whatever 1 divided by 66 is. is that's your answer. Okay, Okay, one red, one yellow. Okay, there's two reds out of 12. And then uh, I think you pulled the red out, so there's still four yellows in there, but 11 marbles left. And then go ahead and reduce and and you get an answer of 2 over 32. Okay, neither is blue. All right, well, since there's six blue marbles in there, then there's six that aren't blue marbles in there. So 6 over 12 and then 5 over 11, and that will reduce to... Uh, 5 over 22 if I did my math right. Okay, and you guys know I, I'm bad at doing my math a lot. All right, and then I want you to take a look at uh, the, what I did in class um, uh, on section um, re, sections B, C, and F of, of the notes of section 6.3-3. Okay, take care, you guys, and good luck on your test.